Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you about permalinks in Jekyll. A permalink is basically just a permanent link or a permanent URL that you can assign to all of the pages on your site. So if I come over here to my post folder, you'll notice that we just have one blog post here and this is like the default blog post that I got when I created my new site. And over here on my website, if I navigate to this post, let's take a look at the URL. And I wanna to talk to you about how this URL gets constructed and then how we can use permalinks to modify what the URL actually is. So up here, this URL is forward slash Jekyll, forward slash update, 2017, 09, 24. And then here, finally, we have the name of the file. So this file is stored in like this whole big folder structure. And if I come over here to my site folder, remember the site folder basically just stores like the finished final compiled version of our website. In here, you'll see that we have Jekyll, update, 2017, 09, 24, and then down, way down here, we have that welcome to Jekyll HTML file. So you can see that there's this whole big folder structure just to store our one blog post. Basically, this URL is determined by some of the information about our page, right? So it's using the date that we assigned to the page, and it's also using these categories. So I have Jekyll and then update, and you'll notice in the URL, it's using Jekyll and update as well. So for example, if I was to change one of these categories, like if I just made this like category two or something, then the URL of this page is gonna change to include category two. So the URL of the page is heavily dependent on like the front matter. But let's say that you didn't want that to be the case. In other words, let's say that you wanted to uh, give this a permanent URL or a different URL, right? I can imagine a scenario where you might wanna change the date of your post or you might wanna change you know, one of the categories without the actual URL breaking. Because right now, if I was to change one of these categories, for example, if I got rid of category two and I refresh this page, you'll notice that it doesn't work anymore because the URL has actually changed. So what we can do is define a permanent link for this page and then it doesn't matter which one of these attributes we change, that permanent link will always be the same. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's create a new front matter variable and we're just gonna call it permalink. And inside of this permalink variable, we can just basically put whatever URL we want this page to have. So if I wanted this to have forward slash my new URL, now when I go to this blog post, so when I click on welcome to Jekyll, the URL just becomes my new URL. I could also say like my new, URL, my new URL test forward slash test two. And when we go back to this post, it'll have updated. So it's now using this new permanent link. So you can use this permalink attribute to like set this as the permanent link of the page. And so now instead of using the date and using the categories, it's just using whatever is inside of this permalink variable. But there's also other things that we can do. So we can access like certain variables from inside this permalink. So for example, I could do forward slash colon categories. And this colon basically just signifies that we wanna use a, like a variable. And so this categories is actually a variable. And so now when I go to my website, you'll notice that the URL has Jekyll. And so it's basically using the category. So if I added another category over here, let's add like new category. Now the website's URL is gonna to update to also include that. So in addition to categories, you could also use like, for example, the year, month, day, and title. And this would actually give us that same URL that we began with. So we're using all these different variables uh, in order to display. And so in here we would get like the categories and then the year, the month, the day, and then finally we would have like the title of the page. But you could also switch these around. So imagine I wanted to put the day first. I could put that over here. So it would go day, year, month, and then title. And I could also include a custom extension. So I could put like HTML here, or I could put PHP. You can really put whatever you want. Um, so if I did something like this, now when we 
opened up this blog post, the URL would look like this. So it's the categories, the day, the year, the month, and then the title, and then here's that custom extension that we gave it uh, of HTML. So permalinks are really great, especially when you start creating blog posts and those blog posts are getting linked to like, in other words, you don't want to change the URL of one of the pages on your site, especially, you know, if it has backlinks to it, then all of those links are going to break. So you always want to define a permalink for all the pages. At least that's what I would recommend is just, you know, create a custom unique permalink for each of the blog posts and each of the pages on your site. And then you won't have to worry about like changing the date or changing the category and having that affect uh, you know, the URL, unless you're using those, those variables in here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.